So now let's talk about the properties of the exponential distribution. So let's, x has the exponential distribution. What's the parameter lambda, right? Or sometimes this exponential distribution will be given with parameter one over theta, okay? So in the exam or in the quizzes, you will be confused by giving the parameter in different units, okay? So make sure to use the parameters in the same units, okay? So if it is given like this, I would like to know what is the expected value of the x, right? So, okay, in terms of the lambda, what is the expected value of the x? So what is the average length of the waiting minute? Or what is the average waiting minute? If I'm giving you some lambda, okay, lambda is one over lambda. Okay, so one over lambda is the average waiting minutes, or basically theta, right? Either one over lambda, either theta. It depends what is given you. So the variance of the x, okay, so let's evaluate the variance, okay? So the variance of the, in order to calculate the variance, I need to calculate the expected value for the x squared, e of x squared, minus e of x in the square, right? Let's calculate e of x in the square. How to calculate e of x in the square? Do you remember this formula? The formula of the e of g of x is the integration of g of x multiplied to the density function of the x, right? So this will be integration of x squared, right? Multiplied to the f of x from minus infinity to the plus infinity dx, right? But since the f of x, the density function of the exponential distribution, is zero for all the values of the x less than zero, it is just enough to integrate this from zero until the infinity of the x squared multiplied to lambda multiplied to the e in the power of minus lambda x. Right? dx. So how to integrate this? Okay, so we need to use the integration by parts, right? So u will be equal, do you remember the integration by parts? If you have the multiplication of the t functions, and if I ask you, find the derivative of this function. If, I, if you are given multiplication of the t functions, and if I ask you, hey, take the derivative, what, what rule you need to use? You need to use the multiplication rule, right? Find the derivative of the first function, divide it, multiply this to the second, plus derivative of the second multiplied to the first, right? But if I ask you, integrate the multiplication of the t functions, then you need to use the integration by parts, right? What is the point of the integration by parts? What, wh why we need to do this? What is the, like, a goal? In order, like, a, the goal is to get rid of one of the functions, right? This is the, our goal, okay? So that is why you need to choose as the u some function, which would, um, I mean, which would disappear after one iteration, right? To the next integration, there will be no dysfunction, right? So you need to choose the function as the u, so that after one iteration, when you take its derivative, it will disappear, right? What do you need to choose? If you choose the e, after the one iteration, it will be still there, right? So that is why we have to choose the x square as the u, because after one iteration, it will be just the x. And after two iterations, it will be one, right? It will disappear. That's the point. If you're given the multiplication of the two functions, and if you would like to integrate this, you need to use the integration by parts, and you need to choose as a u the function, which will disappear after a couple of iterations, or after one iteration, okay? So u is equal to the x squared, okay? And what is dv? Lambda e power of minus lambda x dx, right? What is du? Tx dx, right? What is v? Minus e power of minus lambda x, right? Why the v is equal to the minus e power of minus lambda x? Because if you take its derivative, you will get exactly lambda multiplied to the one minus lambda x, right? Okay, the rest is we just need to multiply uv, right? Is equal to the uv, x squared multiplied to the e in the power of minus, or what's the minus, sorry? Minus lambda x, right? From zero until infinity, okay? 
plus integration from zero to the infinity of the VDU, right? V is minus e to the power of minus lambda x, right? Where? Here? Okay. Um, e multiplied to the Tx dx. Right? Yes? Okay. What is this integration? If you put the infinity, it will be a zero, right? If you put the zero, it will be zero. Okay? If you put the infinity, what you will get? You will get infinity in the square, right? Divided to the e in the power of lambda multiplied to the infinity, right? Uh, if you put the zero, it will be zero multiplied to the e in the power of minus lambda multiplied to the zero, right? What is the second one? So the e in the power of minus lambda multiplied to the zero is one, right? One multiplied to the zero is zero, right? What about this one? Is zero. Why? Because exponential function grows faster than any polynomial, right? So this is like infinity. So it reaches the infinity when this function x squared is still a constant. Okay. So that is why the answer for the like a, if you evaluate the limits, it will be zero. Okay. Now I would like to know what is the second one. The second one is the integration. So what was the e? e in the power of minus lambda x, right? Okay. So let me write this. So one over lambda, okay, multiplied to the lambda or two over lambda, let's say, two over lambda, multiplied to the integration from zero to the infinity of the lambda e in the power of minus lambda x, okay, multiplied to the x dx, okay? So could you please tell me why I did write this, like why I put here one over lambda here? I mean, I put this lambda because this lambda and this lambda will be canceled and you will have exactly this thing, right? But I put inside the lambda because of one reason. Why, why I put this? Because this is the expon exp expected value of the x, right? This integration is the expected value of the x, right? Because by the definition, expected value of the x is x multiplied to the f of x, right? So this is e of x. So this integration will be equal to t over lambda multiplied to the e of x. But I know what is the e of x, right? What is this? 1 over lambda, right? So this will be t over lambda squared, okay? Now we can evaluate the variance. It is equal to the t over lambda squared minus what is e of x? It's 1 over lambda, right? In the square, it will be 1 over lambda squared. This is equal to the 1 over lambda squared, okay? The expected value of the exponential distribution is equal to the 1 over lambda. The variance is equal to the 1 over lambda in the square, okay? But there is one more property, which is called the memory loss property, okay? So could you please write this down? So we say, yes. Which part? From this moment? Okay, so what is the expected value of the x for, for any variable? For any variable, the formula of the expected value. The formula of the expected value is equal to e of x is equal to integration of the x multiplied to the f of x dx, right? For the exponential distribution, For the exponential distribution, the density function, what was the density function? This one or this one, right? Yes? If you substitute this, let's substitute this. So lambda multiplied to the e in the power of minus lambda x dx. So from zero until infinity, right? For the exponential function, the expected value by the definition, I know that this is equal to the one over lambda, right? But by the definition, it is equal to this one. If you integrate this, you will get one over lambda, by the way, okay? 
So this is equal to this one, right? Either you integrate this, either you just like uh, know that this is one of the lambda, or you will, you will just figure out that this is equal to the e of x, okay? This integration is equal to the e of x. You multiply this to the t over lambda, but I know that e of x is equal to the 1 over lambda, so that is y is equal to the t over lambda squared. Okay? So let's talk about another property. We say that a non-negative random variable x is memoryless if probability that x is more than s plus t given x is more than t is equal to something. I will explain to you this in a moment. So let's see. I would like to know, you went to the bank, you would like to know what is the probability that your waiting time is more than 15 minutes if you're waiting already more than five minutes? What is this? So the idea is this is equal to the probability, probability that you're going to wait more than 10 minutes. Okay? For example, let S is equal to the 10 and T is equal to the 5. Probability that your waiting time is more than 15 minutes if it is given that you're waiting more than 5 minutes already. This is equal to the probability of waiting more than 10 minutes. Okay? So at a first glance, nothing strange, right? Or is it strange? Is it strange? No? Yeah. It depends, right? Okay. In order to like uh, understand what does it mean or why this is the property of this distribution, let's do this for the exponential distribution. Okay? So let's say the so average number of declines who are coming to the bank is five. Okay? I would like to know. So let's say x has the exponential distribution, uh, sorry, Poisson distribution, oh, let's make this y. y has the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda is equal to the 5, okay? Lambda is the number of declines who are coming to the bank within one hour. Uh, sorry, y is the number of declines who are coming to the bank within one hour, okay? It might be 6, it might be 10, it might be 7, it might be 3, right? In average, this is 5, okay? So let's assume you came to the bank, Okay, you're waiting there, or you work at the bank, you would like to know, hey, what is the probability that the number of the clients will come to the bank today is more than five, okay? So you see that there are two clients already have been served. Two clients have been already served, right? You would like to know, hey, what is the probability that more than five clients will be served today in the same hour, within one hour, if more than two already have been, have been served, okay? If the two clients have been already served, okay? So is it just the probability y is more than three? No. This is not the case. This is not probability of y is more than three. Okay? So we can show this mathematically, but even logically, this is like this, right? So you came to the bank, you see that the two clients already have been served, right? Within one hour. What is the probability that if that more than two clients have been served already, that five clients will be served today? This is not probability that more than three clients will be served today, okay? Because three should start, like if you would like to evaluate this probability, you should start from the beginning, from zero hour, right? Here, you don't know how, ma how much time left, right? You understand this? So logically, this is not the same. We can show this mathematically as well, right? So let's, so, so do you remember last time also we did some exercises on the conditional probabilities for the continuous case, right? Probability that y is more than 5 given y is more than t is equal to the probability of y is more than 5 and y is more than t divided to the probability of y is more than t, right? According to the base law. So what is the probability that more than 5 clients will be served today and more than t clients will be served today? Just more than 5 clients, right? Probability of more than five clients will be served divided to the more than two, right? 
So I don't know how to evaluate this more than five, but I know how to evaluate less than five, right? So this is one minus probability of y is less or equal to the five divided to the one minus probability of y is less or equal to the two, right? How I need to do this? I need to just sum all the probabilities when the y is equal to the zero, one, two, three, four, and five, right? So this is one minus, what is this when the zero? This is simply e in the power of minus five. Why five? Because five is the average, right, lambda. Plus, e in the power of minus five multiplied to the five in the power of one divided to the one factorials, right? Plus, e in the power of minus five, five over two, uh, multi, uh, in the power of two divided to the two factorials, plus and so on, plus e in the power of minus five, five in the power of five divided to the five factorials, right? Divided to one minus e in the power of minus five plus e in the power of minus five multiplied to the five, plus e in the power of minus five multiplied to the 25 divided to the two. Okay, do you understand how I calculated all of these numbers? Do you understand how I calculate all of those numbers? Using the Poisson distribution formula, right? Do you remember? It was e in the power of minus lambda multiplied to the lambda in the power of x divided to the x factorials, right? The probability that number of declines will be less or equal to the two, this is the probability of number of declines is equal to the zero plus one plus two, right? So this is not the same as probability that y is more than three, right? What is the probability y is more than three? This is one minus probability y is less or equal to the three, right? This is one minus e in the power of minus five plus e in the power of minus five or multiply to the five plus e in the power of minus five multiply to the 25 or two plus e in the power of minus five multiply to the five cubed divided to the three factorials, right? They are not the same, right? Logically, mathematically, they are not the same. Do you, do you see this? Yes? Okay. But it appears for the exponential distribution, this is true. Exponential distribution has a, like a special feature, like a memoryless feature. Okay. Do you understand what does it mean, memoryless? At every instance of the time, it forgets what happened before. Okay. This is what does it mean, memoryless. Okay. For example, what is the probability that you're going to wait more than 15 minutes if you have already waited five minutes? This is the same as waiting more than 10 minutes, okay? You don't care what happened before in the last five minutes, okay? If you, what is the probability that you're going to wait 10 minutes? After one minute, this, what is the probability that you're going to wait nine minutes or 10 minutes if you have waited already one minute? This is the same as probability of waiting nine minutes, okay? It doesn't work for many distributions. It works for the, Poisson, uh, for the exponential distribution. Okay, do you feel what does it mean? Well, we'll do a couple of exercises. Do you understand why, so why it doesn't work for the Poisson? Or do you see this why it doesn't work for the Poisson? At least mathematically, right? Okay. Let's do this. Suppose that you would like to go to Moscow in a car. Okay, obviously you're not going to do this with your car, right? You'll just rent a car, okay? So let's assume you would like to rent an electric car to make it even more exotic, right? Example, um, usually in the, in, the, in, the, in the electric cars, like it, so in, even in your computer, there is a lifetime of the battery, right? What does it mean? So how, how, how many charges it works, right? How many cycles, right? So producer says, okay, so it works like 10,000 or 1,000 cycles, right? In average. It doesn't mean that it will work exactly 1,000 cycles, right? Sometimes it might work 100 cycles. Sometimes it might work 10,000 cycles, right? But in average, it works 1,000 cycles, okay? So the same, the same for the cars, for electric cars. So let's assume the battery, the lifetime of the battery lifetime of the battery of the electric car of some, some electric car is 10,000 kilometers in average. Okay? 
So let's assume yeah, you would like to make the trip to Moscow, five, which is 5,000 kilometers roughly, okay? So let's assume that you would like to make a trip for 5,000 kilometers. Make a trip. Make a 5,000 kilometer trip. What is the probability that you will not replace the battery until you will reach to Moscow? What is the probability? that you will not replace the battery until you reach Moscow. Do you understand the question? Yes. For example, once I build a computer and I replace the, comp uh, the battery after two months, Right? And then I build a computer, then I replace the batteries. I still didn't replace it. I'm using this for more than five years, let's say. So I didn't replace this battery, right? It depends, right? This is random. But I know that in average, you need to replace the battery after every three years, maybe, in average. Okay? Or every three years. The same for the cars. Every 10,000, in average, you have to replace, or you should replace the battery. Okay? So you would like to make a trip. You went to the company, you took a car, okay? You, maybe you know how, how, how many kilometers it passed. For example, it passed some T thousand kilometers, okay? You would like to know, until the Moscow, what is the probability that you will not replace the battery, okay? If you assume that the amount of the kilometers or the distance, amount of the time, amount of the distance which you pass using this, using this electric car, has the exponential distribution, okay? Not the time anymore, no, this is the distance, okay? So let's say x has the exponential distribution, right? x is the distance. What kind of distance is this? This is the distance until you will, like, you, this, the distance you run with the car until you will replace the battery, okay? You understand this? So exponential distribution. What is 10,000? Is it lambda or, or theta? Here, in this case. It's theta, right? Theta is equal to 10,000 kilometers. You understand this? Why it is theta, right? If, for example, previously, if I, if I say, hey, I would like to know the average waiting time, why? Uh, I would like to know the waiting time is more than two minutes, right? And the theta was the, the time duration of one call, right? So here, if I would like to know what, how much distance I will pass before I will replace the battery, then I need to know the theta will be average, average distance, right? Average distance until I will replace the battery. In average, I need to replace the battery every 10,000 kilometers, okay? So it has this kind of exponential. I would like to know what is the probability of the lifetime, or x, sorry, or x is the same as the lifetime, right? So x is more than some t plus five if it is given that x is more than t, right? This is what I would like to know. If you rent a car, it, has, it might already run or travel some t thousand kilometers, right? For example, you rent a car, you look to the odometer, it is written 2,000 kilometers, okay? You rent a car, which has already traveled 2,000 kilometers. What is the probability that this X, the lifetime of this car, is more than 7,000 kilometers if it is already more than 2,000 kilometers, right? This is what I would like to evaluate, right? If this is new, then T will be equal to the zero, right? Okay? Even though the car is new, it doesn't mean that you will reach the Moscow without replacing the battery for sure, right? There'll be some probability. The probability will be high, for example, right? But this is not, this doesn't give you 100% guarantee, right? The same with the computer. If you buy a computer, it doesn't mean that you will not replace the battery within one year, right? Not for sure. The probability is very high, but it doesn't mean for sure, right? So let's assume. The probability that you will run this car 
more than t plus 5 uh, thousand kilometers, given that it has already run more than t thousand kilometers. This is equal to what? Probability that the lifetime is more than 5,000 kilometers. Okay? According to the memory less property of the exponential distribution. Do you understand this? Okay. So what is this? This is 1 minus p of x less than 5, right? This is 1 minus f of 5, right? Do you remember the formula of the f? It was 1 minus 1 minus e in the power of minus 5 multiplied to theta, 1 over theta, or lambda, right? Theta is here 10, right? Because I, I put here 5, not 5,000, 10. 10. It will be just 1 over 10. You understand why it is 1 over 10, right? So I, I, I put here, I decided to put here 5 instead of 5,000, right? So that is why the theta will be equal to the not 1 over 10,000, it will be 1 over 10 simply, okay? So the answer is equal to e to the power of minus 1 over 2, which is roughly 0 0.6, okay? The lifetime of the car is more than 5,000 kilometers. No matter what is the kilometers the, in the odometer, is 60%, okay? This is because of the property of the exponential distribution. So let's do another example. So let's say there are two calls, two phones in the hotel's reception. Okay? The number of the calls which are coming to the first call has the Poisson distribution, x1 has the Poisson distribution, whereas lambda 1 is equal to the 10. What does it mean? Could you please explain to me what does it mean this lambda is equal to the 10? It means that 10 calls in one hour, okay? So let me write, 10 calls in one hour, in average, right? 10 calls in one hour, in average. So the number of the calls which are coming to the second call, phone has again the Poisson distribution, x2 has the Poisson distribution, with the lambda 2, which is 15 calls in one hour in average. Okay? So let's assume I came in the morning to the reception. Okay? I answer to both of the calls, to both of the phones. Okay? I would like to know what is the probability that I'm going to wait for the first call to any of the phone, more than 10 minutes. What is the probability that I'm going to wait for the first call to any of the phone for more than 10 minutes? 10 minutes here. Do you understand this? Yes? The first call rings every six minutes, right? If there are 10 calls, in average, it rings every six minutes, right? The second one rings every four minutes, right? 15 calls per hour, it means that it rings every four minutes. I would like to know, if I come to the reception in the morning, what is the waiting time? What is the probability that I will wait for more than 10 minutes for the first call, for any of the phones? Okay. Then, I mean, this is exponential distribution, right? The waiting time. I need to use the exponential distribution. So this will be equal to 1 minus probability of the waiting time is less than 2 minutes. Right? This is the same as 1 minus 1 minus e to the power of minus 2 multiplied 1 to the lambda or 1 over theta. Right? Okay. Um, here I need to evaluate everything in minutes, right? Okay, if 10 calls are coming to the first call and 15 calls are coming to the second call, how many calls will come to the hotel's reception in one hour in average? 25, right? 25 calls in one hour. 
right? So in 60 minutes, there are 25 calls, right? How many calls will be in one minute? So I need to use the proportions, right? If you find the axiom here, it will be equal to one, 25 over 60, right? If there are 25 calls arriving to the hot reception in one hour, then in one minute, you receive 25 over 60 calls, right? Then you have to multiply T here to the 25 over 60, right? Average number of the calls coming in one minute, right? Because you're finding the probability in minutes, right? If I ask you, hey, what is the probability that the waiting time is more than two minutes, then you need to use simply 25, okay? If I'm asking you probability in, in, sorry, if I ask you what is the probability more than two hours, then you need to use simply 25, right? Since I'm asking you probability in minutes, you need to change the unit, right? Okay, so T multiplied to the 25 over 60, right? If you simplify everything, you will get E in the power of minus five over six, okay? Probability that the waiting time until the first call is more than 10 minutes is equal to the e in the power of minus 5 over 6. Okay? Do you understand why you are going to use the exponential distribution? 